G'day and welcome to the new front of Zyme Execute. I'm joined for this one by Space Tomo. How you doing, buddy? Hello. I'm good. Oh, Just you... uh putting together this weird setup I've got right now. You look so fresh compared to me. I'm I am smashed. You've taken the whole time of AoE off. You've spent it with family. <laughs> completely relaxed i hate you uh, but that's fine we'll get through uh, i wish it was more relaxed yes I just, my computer is in different parts of the world yeah. and i'm currently stressing out trying to figure out how i'm going to stream but yeah i got to take a little break from star citizen which is always a a good way to refresh so yeah and you're freestyling with the mic which is good so hopefully you can get that fixed soon as well um, hopefully but yeah so one of the interesting things about bringing you in on this is you don't do a lot of this stuff. So I figured if I can explain it to you, then obviously I can hopefully explain it to the audience. And um, so that, that's where that's we're going. That's because I'm dumb. Yeah. No, you're not dumb. You're not dumb. <laughs> you're very, very smart. We're going. All right, let's get off to the browser. So these are the CCUs that are available today. I've changed um, some of them around. So um, I'm just going to go through these all really, really quickly. Um, I'll fly by them, but um, space, you do not have to retain this information. It's totally fine. So we have the 400i. Um, this will actually uh, cost you, I need to do the cost thing. So this will cost you, save you 20. Um, then we've got the Pisces that'll end up saving you uh, five. We've got the Carrick that'll end up saving you 40. Uh, we've got the Caterpillar, they'll end up saving you 25. And and just to be clear, the savings that you're naming here are because they are on sale for IAE. That's it, yeah. So you pay because you're paying okay. with cash, you get them at a discount. So the Cyclone gotcha. MT uh, will, will uh, s save you 10. Um, the Super Hornet will save you 15. Whoa, the Super Hornet's expensive. It is. No, it is. Freelancer Max is 10 saving. Um, the Hammerhead will save you 50. That's a really big one. Uh, the Mole will save you 20. The Mantis will save you 10. And the MSR will save you 20. And then the Prowler will save you 30. And then the Scorpius will save you 20. And then the Corsair, which is not actually a part of this sale, but because the ship is still available, will save you 25. Right. With that done, if I kick us back over here, what I've done, Space, is I've collaborated this all in a table, right? Um, mm -hmm. And I've taken the best CCUs I can get and the best ships I can get. And using the starter package for the cutter, now, if you want to do more than one ship, you could also get a standalone cutter on its own. And it is, uh, I believe it's $5 cheaper again, but you do obviously don't get the game with that, right? And you obviously you could change all those savings by the total saving price from 225 to 220 if you wanted to do that. But long story right. short, you are what you are buying there, I've listed it slightly different now I've done it in previous years, is I've listed them as the actual CCUs you want to buy, right? Normally I used to just li list the ship, so to try and make it a little bit more tangible, so you could literally go in and say, say that very first one, we could go into the, the, the store. So, so let's just have a look at that real quick. I'm going to cut us back over to um, the, br the browser. Just give me a second. Um, this one. So, yep, we're on the browser page. So you could actually come in here, and this is the, the starter pack we're talking about. It's $45. You could pick this up, add it to your cart, and buy it, and that's the thing you start with, right? Then we uh, come back to here to the... <laughs> We're going to be swapping backwards and forwards a few times. So now we want the, a cut at a 300i, right? So I'll only have to... And we're starting down down here on the bottom of the list, right? Yep, we're starting the, from bottom to top. Th that's it. We're starting on the bottom and uh, working our way up. So if you go into the pledge store again, um, and you go here to where it says ship upgrades... So we are wanting to get that um, cutter to 300i upgrade first. So now we just click over here where it says all ships. You don't need to own the ship. You can click this all ships button. It changes your life once you understand how that works. So if we just type Yeah, in... that's actually, I did not know that. Yeah. So once you have the cutter and then you just type 300 on this side, you'll notice uh, that that would be the first one to pick up. Now, because we don't actually have a discount here, you could actually purchase this with store credit right and that way if, if you're fresh to the game and you've never spent any money of course you'll have to buy it with cash but if you are a, a, 
person that's been around for a while, you can use this with credit, right? So, um, quick question. Yep. If you don't own the ship, what are you buying right here? You are buying just a CCU, just just an upgrade that at a later date you can apply. And so essentially you'll, you know, you, so you have to link them together. Does that mean that like if, if you were to do this, mm -hmm. CCU, a ship that you don't own to another ship you don't own, are you actually going to be able to fly a ship? Like, do you get one of these ships? Or? So, so, so no, no, you don't. It, it is literally like uh, you're buying an opportunity to turn one ship into another. And you can meld it and get your money back if you want. But um, mm -hmm. sometimes it protects you. So to give an example, one of the ones we recommended recently was for the Galaxy. Um, the Galaxy is $380. But if you're not sure that you want that ship and you don't want to spend $380, you can get a Valkyrie to um, RSI Galaxy for just $5. And that way, if it comes out and you find it's a really good ship and say they put it up by $50, you don't have to pay that extra $50 because you locked in the price at $380. So it's like so a the, $5 for a long-term investment. So the point of this is that you are reserving something. You're not yeah. even getting, That's like it. if you did that CCU, you're not getting the Valkyrie or the Galaxy. You're not going to be able to do anything in game with the money that you just spent. 100%. You are, you are locking in those prices and stuff. So that if is we, wild. <laughs> it is wild. It's, 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 it's kind of crazy. So if we look at the next one up where I've got it in green here, because you've actually got to use cash. So now if we go from the 300 eye to the Sokol MT, I'm not going to go all the way up this list, so don't worry about that. So if we just reset this now to the Cyclone um, MT should be just down the list here. So what you can see here is say it says two options available. That's how you know it's a discount award one CC. So now when you click on it, it offers you this. And so what you can see is here, it's got a discount because it's five, uh, $10 cheaper. So essentially when we now put in uh, the 300 I on this side, because that's the last one we upgraded from, you can now see it only costs $5, where if I actually go back to the other one, because it was $75, it would have cost 15 So that's how we get back to this. And you get the thing with the saving of, uh, sorry, $10, not 15 You get a saving of $10. Right? So basically... At it, some point. Yeah, if you repeat that, if you repeat that process all the way up the top... That's how you get to this total saving of $225. You're stacking them all together. All those savings together um, reduces the price. So, so for example, if you had a Polaris, now Polaris normally costs $750, that deduces $225 off, and that brings the Polaris down to $525. But they're guaranteeing that you will buy a ship in the future. Yes, Yes, but here's, here's the thing that is a bit awkward. How do you feel if I told you when they sold the Polaris, they sold it for $650 war bond. That was the original price. And they said that would be the cheapest the Polaris ever is. And mm -hmm. guess what? Today is the second time it is cheaper than $650. On a single and that's day. because of CCUs. That's just because they... It's because of the war bond CCUs. Because of the way their system is set up. Okay, you can so it is because of CCUs. Yeah, yeah. Because because they um, because they originally sold it at six hundred fifty dollar war bond, you can now turn around and buy a Polaris for five hundred twenty five dollars today. By the way, this is not the only ship you can do that on. So you can do you, you know it's it's the Polaris is the, the most expensive ship you can see to CCU two along with the A two and soon to be the Pol uh, BMN when that comes out. I'm pretty sure that'll be the same as well. But you can also, as I was trying to tell you before the show, you can fork off at any point. So say we fork off at the Caterpillar there, and so instead of getting a Caterpillar to reclaim a CCU, we just change that one to Caterpillar to RSI Galaxy, which is the latest ship. We can fork off to that, and using all the CCUs below that, that would be $105 savings. So by waiting just two days, right, it, it costs you $380 to buy the Galaxy for credit or, or, or war bond dollars or cash money um, two days ago. $380. Now, using this method, you can get it for $275. That blows my mind. Just by waiting two days. How do you how do you feel that this is a system that exists? It is too convoluted and too complex and new people don't have a hope. I've explained this to you probably three or four times and you forget yep. it every year because you don't buy a lot of ships, obviously. Um, to me, I think it's too convoluted. I, 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 do you think they need to stop this? I, I, I want them to simplify it. 
I really, really do. I, 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 I'm not worried about... I, I reckon the, the discounts should just be across the board. They should probably just bring the prices down a little bit across the board. It'll bring more people into the game. I know th this is a head versus heart problem, right? We have to fund the game, but also, like, we don't want to feel like we're being ripped off. So how do you, how, how do you, how do you, how do you fund the game and not feel like you're being ripped off? You know, the, the, yeah. there, the, there is a person out there that we know, they got a Carrick for $95. Now a Carrick, if you go out and buy it today as a new person, you'll generally spend 600. How does that make you feel? Would you feel ripped off if you knew someone else got a Carrick for $95 and you paid 600? Mm, not really. I think, I think there's a lot of chances to be unhappy about people getting better deals than you did on things uh i don't think it's reasonable to be unhappy with the person for that but and the I, I, I just the positive way to look it, at it is you put 600 dollars towards the game you see so so you can go both ways yeah. with it you know what i mean so funding this game is it, it, i think you know another way to look at it is it's a means to an end so yeah <laughs> Yeah. See, here I'm so my angle on this is that we are funding the game by mm -hmm. buying ships and that's all that's all good. I don't think that we should be looking out for the company being funded though. In in mm -hmm. in the idea True. that I think we should always be trying to get the best deal for people, I think. Mm -hmm. Um they need to figure out how to fund the game. We need to figure out how to exist in a market that makes sense and is friendly and it doesn't it doesn't feel friendly and it doesn't make sense it's very confusing and it's it's roundabout and it's convoluted i think you and i would both sit here today and say all you need to play this game right now is that carter carter starter pack down the bottom is the best pack yeah. they've ever offered it comes with yeah, the game definitely for 45 dollars the cutter is a brilliant ship it is it is easily the best starter they've ever offered it almost rivals the avenger and um for 15 dollars more the avenger's a good one as well but we gen like the general in front of recommendation is just get a starter pack and if you want to go further than that limit yourself to one ship going into multiple ships now is just a crazy idea because there, there are hundreds of thousands of ships out there. Like, let, let's look at our grid as an example. Now, I don't want to throw our grid under the bus, but our grid owns three javelins. And I just can't see how he's going to have enough people to man all three at the same time. And, and I can see arguments for why one person could have three javelins, but I think you agree with me. Part of this game is also earning the ships. Um, and, you know, I went out and brought a Kraken this sale. I really, really wanted a Kraken, right? So mm -hmm. I went and got it. And I know I will use that ship, but by the same token, I don't have an interest and I don't have a javelin, but I think I'll earn those with my friends because I've got the Kraken. I'll take the Kraken and, and go sideways and, and earn those, so to speak. Yeah. But 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 you tell me, you have an org, and I, I guarantee mm -hmm. you, I know you well enough that you look at the ships that are in your org and you're like, I will just use my friend's ships. I mean, yeah. I if Even if I didn't have an org... Mm. Uh, before I ever started one for myself, I never, never thought that I would need a larger ship. Like mm. I, uh, I put out a video recently actually about, um, uh, the resource management system and mm. kind of talking about how people might not be so inclined to do larger ships in the future. Mm. I, I fully believe that there are going to be people who never fly a ship in this game. I 100% agree with you. My brother has shown an interest in this game being a mercenary and just going to the planets, fighting the fight, winning the ground for for the team and then moving on. Because like you play Call of Duty and it's just the same thing over and over again and you've got this progression, but there's no real kind of meaning to what you're doing. If you're at least helping other people, does that not give you meaning? To me, it does. Also... You, this is a game that's built on dreams that's built on the last 30 years of people liking sci-fi some people just want to be a clone trooper on a drop ship that yep. goes down to a planet clears out of base yep and and so from that same angle i don't think most people need to be thinking about buying those big ships and even if they do um it's it's hard <laughs> so hard to place value on it there'll be some guy out there that all he wants to do is be a janitor and he'll be on every planet just scrubbing the deck or, or whatever like there will be people out there that'll do that they'll, they'll just get in the rp element they won't care about the ships right it's yeah. just this has been the most successful funding model for a game ever 
Um, I don't think they are going to kind of want to give it up. I do think that, that they'll, yeah. they'll pivot afterwards. And so say they bring out a new ship after release, they will sell it and you'll get like maybe a three to six months time frame where you get exclusive access to that and everyone else will have to buy the ship in game where you will just get it up front and i think that that's where i think they're going to fund this game and that'll pay for all the servers and stuff like that they'll obviously bring out expansion packs um we have now tangented like crazy but that's <laughs> that's fine it's still a very short video it's totally good um so yeah at the end of the day i will have an image in the description below uh where you can take this image and uh, buy it uh, you know, buy their CCUs and CC off to whatever you want um, with those savings. You can also jump off, as I said, at any point into a ship that you want. So just kind of find the line there. You're looking for the ship on the left and the ship you want to go to on the right. So just change the ship on the right and you'll be fine. Um, and that's all you got to do. Um, I think if there are any people that are new that don't understand how this works, you can jump on our Discord, which is also in the description below. Jump in the CCU Helper channel. There are people there that are vetted by us that know exactly how this works, and they'll try to help you out as much as possible. Um, Space, is there anything you want to hear from people in the comments below? Uh, I guess just their thoughts on this. I mean, there are a lot of different opinions to have about this. Mm. The The... The, the funding model of this game brings a lot of discussion and the fact that yep. it can get this deep, I think a lot of people don't know it can get this deep, but mm. I would just like to hear people's general thoughts on it because it's, it's mm. a, it's weird. I kind of um, agree with you. Like, I want to hear like, like as a veteran backer and the vet, a lot of people on our channel are veteran backers, is this system too convoluted? Would you be willing to give up savings to make it easier for new people? That, that uh, That's the question I would put out there as well. So, yeah um space where can people find you on the interwebs youtube's the best place just search for space tomato youtube.com slash space tomato or if you want for a little extra youtube.com slash space tomato 2 mm -hmm. i have two youtube channels i also do a bunch of streams i uh, post hot takes on twitter sometimes the occasional food pic on instagram <laughs> no it's not food pictures but i i do have an instagram account for this where i do some star citizen stuff and then there's also uh, i think there's a tiktok <laughs> Uh, all the things. Just Google Space Tomato and you'll find me. All right. With that, um, this is my last video for AIE. So I think I'm going to go into a coma for a week, as I usually do. Um, I'm kind of happy to see that it's over. I do hope I've helped you guys with making um, informed decisions for this year. Um, and I, I know myself personally, um, I want to see more people into this game. So I think now that I've got my Kraken, I may be making a move to buying starter packs to give to other people. That, that's that, that's where I'm at if I'm putting more money into this game. Space, would you be the same? If you were putting money into this game, would you buy be buying yourself ships or would just be pulling more people into the game? That's what I do. I I don't buy ships for myself. I haven't bought a ship for myself in years. Mm. Um, I think I've done a CCU when you did the you Fix My Fleet. But besides that, I don't buy ships. I just buy mm. packs that I can give away. I full-heartedly agree. I want this game to be available to more people want this game to be something that like eventually brings fun and joy i just want this to be a good game that people can play and that we can teach people more about it's yeah it's a freaking sandbox like it is this is the ultimate sci-fi playground it's, and i would love to see it succeed it's complicated it's going to be a very complicated game look with a huge knowledge base you're going to get people that are like the best miner in the game like we, we already know that we both know john citizen right and john is really good at mining but if I took John to do, say, medical, I don't think he'd be as good because he's just got his brains flooded with that. So I, I think it's interesting. You're going to get this p people that are overalls and then you're going to get people that are like super niche eventually. It's going to be interesting. So, yeah. yeah. All right. With that then, uh, he's been Space Tomato. I've been Execute. We'll catch you next one. Oh, wait. No, I forgot. Like the video. <laughs> dislike the video subscribe ring the notification bell want to go extra mile on patreon all that type of stuff that'd be awesome um youtube memberships all that type of thing you know i'm terrible at self-promotion uh thank you very much uh for joining us for aie and we'll catch you uh next time i do have some more fix my fleets so if you're good boys i'll release some more fix my fleets all right bye bye